Today we're taking a look at the Curt T Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with the 4 pull Flat Trailer Connector. This product fits certain years and models of the Chrysler 300. To ensure that this is a fit for your vehicle, you can always use the Vehicle Fit Guide located at eTrailer.com. Now this unit provides a four-way flat connector at the back of the vehicle to power your trailer signal lights. It is compatible with 5-pole, 6-pole, and 7-pole adapters. Adapters are sold separately. And it comes with a dust cap for the four-way flat connector. That way you can cover up the connection points when your plug is not being used. The black box is the included taillight converter. This ensures that your vehicle's wiring matches that of your trailer. The powered module connects directly to the battery to avoid overloading the vehicle's electrical system. And it does that through the wiring. This is constructed using surface mount technology for consistent, reliable performance. And what that does is it maximizes the trailer light yield and intensity while producing minimal heat and ensures superior operation even in rough road conditions. Now this unit is designed to connect quickly and easily. You don't have to worry about cutting or splicing any wires. Just locate the connection points in the rear cargo area and plug in your connectors. These are custom fit for your vehicle, so they're going to match up perfectly with the plugs on the vehicle and they snap lock together for a nice, tight, secure fit. Once you have those plugged in, you'll need to make a ground connection. That's your white wire with a ring terminal attached to it. You want to get that grounded to a suitable grounding location with the included grounding screw. And then you can mount the converter box to a safe out of the way location. You can do that using the included cable ties as well as the double sided adhesive foam tape provided in the kit. Then you'll need to connect your fuse holder. Um, and now typically these connect to the positive post of the vehicle battery. But in this case, what you'll do is on the passenger side, you'll need to locate the vehicle's positive battery cable on the fuse box and then remove the nut and place the T-connector's power ring terminal on the stud, replace the nut, and then install the fuse in the fuse holder. And that's how uh, it connects to the vehicle battery. Again, through the wiring, and this connects um, in the fuse box on the passenger side of the vehicle, which would be at the rear. So it has a ring terminal pre-attached to it, get that connected to that positive post that we were talking about uh, where the positive cables ran in that fuse box. And then it comes with your 10 amp fuse, goes directly in the fuse holder, has a cap that goes over it to keep it safe and protected. Once you have everything connected, you can secure any excess or slack in your wiring with the included cable ties. Once the install is complete, the four-way connector will be stowed in an out-of-the-way location within your cargo area. Plenty of wiring here so you can extend it out the back of the vehicle when you need to use it roll it up and tuck it away when you don't. It is recommended that you use a small amount of dielectric grease on all your electrical connections, like the plugs on the vehicle and the four pole connector itself. That grease is sold separately and it's available at eTrailer.com and it's designed specifically to prevent corrosion to the connection points. When it comes to the maximum amperage for the stop and turn lights, we're looking at three amps per circuit. And for the tail lights, we're looking at six amps per circuit. The unit also comes with detailed installation instructions to help walk you through the whole uh, process step by step. That's going to do it for today's look at the Curt T-Connector Vehicle Wiring Harness with the 4-Pole Flat Trailer Connector.